The Ministry of Home Affairs has said that Zoom is not a safe platform while issuing an advisory for those who want to use this online video conferencing application. Zoom has increasingly come under scrutiny for its privacy risks even as it gains in popularity among users working remotely and collaborating over the internet as much of the world remains locked indoors due to COVID-19. Zoom is popular for its relative simplicity, user experience and ability to scale. However, its drawbacks are frightening and many tech experts have found. The New York Times has reported that Zoom's video conferencing platform has been running a data mining feature which enabled some participants to view others' LinkedIn profile data without their consent. Zoom had also sold to users what it called end-to-end encrypted conferences. However, what it offered in reality was far short of this feature. According to The Intercept, what it actually gave was TLS, which is not as secure as end-to-end encryption. Another disturbing complaint against Zoom is what is being called Zoom bombing, in which a troll gets access to the connection and projects graphic content or inappropriate content to interrupt the conversation. Tech experts have also called out Zoom's poor business practice of fixing an issue only when the problem is highlighted. CEO Eric Kuan said the company was reassessing security and privacy itself. Meanwhile, many big companies like SpaceX and Apple have prohibited their employees from using Zoom. For now, the platform can only be recommended for people or businesses having public conversations.